All right guys, it is finally warm enough to clean outside. And in today's video, I am going to be bringing you along three days of extreme speed cleaning outside and inside. I'm going to be outside getting everything ready for the summer, power washing, washing windows from the outside, and so much more. I'll also be doing a lot of cleaning inside, a lot of laundry motivation. So let's get ready and let's do this. If you are brand new here and you've never been to Jamie's Journey, hello, I'm Jamie, obviously, but I am glad you're here. If you are a returning viewer, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. You mean the world to me, and I truly mean that when I say that. So today, you are in for some serious cleaning motivation. I've been waiting to get outside, waiting for it to get warm enough so I can clean outside. So I'm going to be bringing you along three days of cleaning inside and outside in my house. This was the first day. Um, it was the morning. I just wanted to get our bedding going. I was going to um, get our put our bedding in the washing machine and I was going to sprinkle some baking soda on the mattress and let it sit all day and then I was just going to go and pick up the bedroom while I had a few minutes to myself and then I was going to continue on the cleaning outside and in the kitchen and living room during nap time later in the afternoon. There's also going to be a giveaway in today's video, $100 PayPal cash. It's open internationally so stay tuned. I will give you all of the details on how you can easily enter the giveaway. Stay tuned. So from time to time, I like to clean my mattress and deodorize it as well. I just sprinkle some baking soda on there and I let it sit for as long as I can. So in this case, pretty much all day long. So that's what I that's why I wanted to do it first thing in the morning and just let it sit. The baking soda really helps deodorize and uh, clean the mattress. With mattresses, you want to be careful and you don't want to get too much water or you know water saturation on the mattress. So you have to be careful because moisture will get um, trapped under there so um, that's why I like to just use the baking soda let it sit and do its magic during the day So something that I just wanted to talk with you guys about as I'm cleaning in last week's video, um, I had I did a giveaway um, and I had asked you guys what was something um, that you're proud of yourself for. So I just wanted to hear some of your accomplishments and I think we can all be our own worst critic, right? Like we can be so hard on ourselves sometimes, but we also need to recognize our own accomplishments. And I had to ask you guys to share things that that you know that could be basic. You know, it could be something like you're proud of yourself for doing the laundry that day or making it through the day, or it could be something huge that you're proud of yourself for. And I absolutely loved reading all of your responses. Like it blew me away how amazing you guys are. Seriously, absolutely amazing. You guys, I just, I love the positivity of reading the responses and I love seeing that you're proud of yourself. Some of the stuff almost made me cry because I was just proud. I know I keep saying that, but so proud of you. Like some of you guys are just, you're so proud of yourself for, you know, graduating high school or graduating college. Some of you, of you were happy to be sober. Some of you were happy to, to break out of your anxiety or depression or recognize, you know, that you're depressed and get help. Um, some of you guys were 
proud of yourself for breaking the cycle of abusive parents and I just I'm so proud of you guys and I love seeing all the positivity and I just I'm so proud of this strong community um so you know if you didn't answer in that video just think about what are you proud of and just think about it and it can be something small it can be something big you know some days we have the smaller things that we're proud of other days it's big but either way just make sure you're proud of yourself and you pat yourself on the back because life is hard and we need to recognize that we are strong people So like I said earlier, here on day one, I was just picking things up, kind of doing my cleaning pre-workout in the kitchen and the living room, wiping things down because when it because it was finally nice out during nap time, I was actually waiting for it to warm up because it was way too cold in the morning. So I was waiting for it to warm up so I could go outside and start cleaning. It's been pretty chilly here in Northwest Ohio. I think on Mother's Day it actually sleet, like we had sleet. So finally the sun was out. It was warm enough to get outside. You are on my mind I can't control my body Can't control my body Body, 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 body I am stuck in a gym I can't help what I'm feeling I don't know if I'm breathing When you are with me, my heart is beating I am stuck in a gym I can't help what I'm feeling I don't know I was also so excited to bust out my power washer for the season. I will have this model linked down below. I think we just got it from Lowe's or Home Depot, but I was using it to spray down the front porch, remove all of the stuff that had accumulated over the winter and the, you know, snow drifting and blowing onto our porch and get into all of the cracks on the porch and bricks and all of that and I was also going to clean the windows with my handy window cleaning tool but stick around because I will be asking that giveaway question here in a little bit and tell you what you have to do to enter So to clean my windows, I was just using cold water, water from the hose, and a little bit of Dawn dish soap um, with this window, window washing tool that has one side with a microfiber pad where you can scrub the window. And then I also um, can scrub the win window framing. And then there's a little squeegee on the other side that I can go and squeegee the windows when I'm done. And they always, this tool always gets my windows nice and squeaky clean. Actually, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me go on a little rant recently. I was just complaining one day constantly. I felt kind of bad, but I was complaining because I think it was the day before I filmed this. It was so cold outside. And at this point in the season, mid-May, I am over the cold weather. 
I want to wear shorts. I want to feel the hot sun in my face. I want a little bit of, you know, a tan. Um, I don't want to look pasty anymore. I just want to be able to go outside and not have to put coats and hats on my kids. And I'm just, I'm over it at this point. And it's actually kind of interesting because a local meteorologist just did a study on our weather. And he was saying that they have noticed, at least in this area in Ohio, the seasons seem to be shifting. So before, you know, I don't know, like May would be more of like, it would get warmer in May um, and then cool off in September. And then now it's pretty cold um, up until June for us. And then it gets hot really quick, hot and humid. And then it stays warm almost through September and then sometimes into October. You know, usually by October or mid-September, I'm like, all right, let's bust out the sweatshirts and sweaters and leggings. You know, it's fall weather. But everything just seems to be shifting which is crazy. Um, oh, and to wash the screens, I was just using Dawn dish soap and some water and the scrub brush. But it's just funny because at this point in the year, I am like over it. And I try not to complain too much because the weather is what it is. You know, like you can't change it. We chose to live here. We chose to stay here. Um, we're happy here, but I'm just like, I'm over it at this point in May. So luckily the sun was shining and it's at, I, mean, I know that warmer days are in our very near future. I'm going to be doing a back patio video. Um, it should actually be up next week, I'm thinking. But if you're, when you're seeing this, it should be up soon. I'm going to be decorating the back patio. That's where we love to sit in the summer, like let the kids play. Or at night after the kids go to bed, Mike and I sit out there. It's like our little oasis at home. Summer date nights. Um, when it's warm, we have a fire pit out there. I'm going to add some decoration um, and just kind of make it fun out there. So stay tuned for that video. It should be up soon. Don't forget to stay tuned for all of the details on how to easily enter for the $100 PayPal cash giveaway. It'll be here soon. been a day <laughs> but it feels good to have everything done and I'm gonna sit up here and enjoy this sun right now um, while I can while it's still a nice day hey guys so it is much later in the evening I have showered and uh, Mike is putting the twins to bed or we've actually already put them to bed um, but he's going in there because they were a little fussy at bedtime not ready to go to bed so I have my little helper here Hello. Avery and she's gonna help me vacuum the bed because I've been letting the baking soda soda sit on there all day long. So it's had plenty of time to do its magic. And so I'm gonna let it sit there and then we're gonna vacuum it up and then make the bed before it's bedtime. Right, girl? Yes! Yes. All right, so let's do it. Better say something that will change my mind. Gotta give me something Cause I'm not blind And I don't know how to enjoy it Every time you tell me it's not there I suppose that we won't stand a chance We won't 
You guys get to see me in my comfy clothes right before bed. Um, and I'm using this shop vac from our garage to vacuum up the baking soda just because I've read some things that say you shouldn't use a vacuum to vacuum up baking soda. It can ruin your vacuum, damage your vacuum, and you know I love my vacuums. Uh, they're also expensive, so I don't really want to mess with those vacuums. I know people do it, but um, we have the shop vac, so I might as well use that. And I was <laughs> making sure I when I whenever I use it in here, I make sure I disinfect the shop back as much as I can, like the hose and stuff um, that touches the bed just because, you know, you use it in the garage, you use it in the car. So I made sure to clean it and disinfect it before I used it. If I have learned one thing, it's wasting time. And I don't know how to enjoy it. Every time you tell me Day two, I'm gonna continue on in cleaning. I'm keeping it pretty casual and comfy today. <laughs> I have my joggers on. Um, I didn't put on any makeup other than what was probably left over from yesterday. So anyways, I'm gonna continue on and do some more cleaning today. So I know that you already saw me clean the outdoor windows from the outside a couple of days ago, but you know, there's a lot of stuff floating in the air right now here in the springtime, pollen and all of that. So I just figured while I was cleaning everything, um, cleaning the inside windows, I would just clean them, pull them in, clean them outside again. Um, and then I was going to clean the front hallway and then work on the stairs. And I think it's just crazy how dirty the walls were. Wait till you see how dirty the water was and the rag. This is just the main traffic hallway. Um, the twins are constantly touching it with their hands so it gets dirty pretty quickly and dirtier than I realize. So I try to keep up on it as much as I can, but I want to shift a little bit. I do want to give a shout out to two other channels that I know you guys will love. There are two other YouTube channels, um, two other YouTube moms that have been friends of mine following me and just we've chatted a lot, you know, on Instagram and here on YouTube and they are just the sweetest and they have joined this crazy youtube journey and i just want to give a shout out to their channels they've worked so hard for it so um i will have both of their channels linked below the two channels are Kimberella and the crew and Brittany Nicole. Brittany has been one of my friends um, for the past couple of years. We've chatted so many times and Kimberly has become a recent friend and I just know how important it is to create a community here on YouTube and I'm proud of their hard work. I mean YouTube can be you know a lot of work and it's it's great to be in this together. So um, and have friends. So I will have both of their channels linked down below so definitely go check them out. I was using the new Jaws multi-purpose cleaner. This is a brand new product. It just came out and you know what? I love it. It's an amazing product. I love all of the Jaws cleaning products. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I have a link in my description with a 25% off code. Um, and I these products perform so well, let me tell you that. And the other reason why I like them is because they are non-toxic, um, they're amazing products, and they're also affordable. And I'm not just saying that like, oh, they're affordable for non-toxic products. No, they are affordable, very affordable, especially even more so when you use my 25% off um, coupon code. So 
definitely go check those out if you want. But for the giveaway, I'm going to be giving away $100 in PayPal cash. So you can use $100 on anything you want. This will be open internationally and it will close on May 20th at 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the question is to enter. So all you have to do is answer this question that I'm going to ask in a minute and then make sure you're subscribed and have the notification bell turned on. So the question is, what is something that you love about yourself? So it could be something physical. You could say like, I love my thick hair, you know, or it could be something non-physical, uh, a trait that you have that you just love about yourself. So that's what I, I'm going to share something that I love about myself is I feel like I'm a very, very hard worker. If once I, once I put my mind to something, I will do it and I will make sure, you know, like I think there's a quote that says like, you know, do your goal, <laughs> do your daily tasks or your daily to-do list, the decisions you make daily, do they line up with your ultimate goals? I, I don't know if that makes sense, but you know, are you working just a little bit towards your ultimate goals and I am one of those people like every single day I work really hard to my ultimate goals and that's just something that I I do love about myself and I like this positivity I like us sharing things we're proud of ourselves for things that we love about ourselves so I want to know what do you love about yourself so make sure you're subscribed have the no notification bell turned on and answer what you love about yourself and good luck But I know I'm not over you Keep missing our fights Think I'm losing my mind So I was cleaning out the closet because in the winter there can just so much stuff accumulates in here you know we have hats and gloves for all three kids and for Mike and I and then we have our heavy winter coats and this closet just becomes very cluttered during the winter and since you know let's cross our fingers we're we're done with snow I can get rid of the snow boots and the heavy winter coats and the hats and gloves so I wanted to go in here remove all of that stuff get rid of all that extra stuff even like winter type shoes since we'll be using wearing sandals more get rid of all of that declutter and organize a little bit and clean out So I needed to wipe down the cabinets and I am using the same thing that I use when I cleaned out the wall or cleaned the walls, which is Dawn dish soap, the blue kind and some super warm water. When we got our cabinets painted last fall, they said to make for sure we are using a very mild cleaner and Dawn is a mild cleaner, but very powerful. It takes care of grease. And um, I also like using it on my walls because it does a good job of getting dirt and fingerprints and grease off of the walls, but not stripping the paint. Um, and so that's why I also like using it on my cabinets. Okay, so I frequently get asked how I decide which vacuum I'm going to use. And sometimes it's just out of sheer, sheer boredom. I wanna switch things up. Um, like what vacuum do I use? How do I choose which mop to use? Um, sometimes it's based on time frame, like how quick I just need to get something done. Um, but when it comes to vacuums, so I know the camera does not pick it up very well, but my floors are dirty. I mean, there are, I mean, just chunks of food and yeah, 
it's really bad here in person. So like there's just like a lot of like bigger chunks of food and crumbs and stuff like that. So when that happens, a leaf, um, when that happens, I go ahead and use this. Um, this is not my first choice when it comes to vacuuming the hardwood floors. I like using one of my cordless vacuums, um, but when there's this much stuff and crumbs and big chunks of things, then I'll go ahead and use this vacuum. So I'm actually going to be trying out a new mop here soon, probably in next Sunday's video. Um, it is a robotic mop. Yes, a robotic mop. And guys, I'm so excited because it's actually a robotic vacuum and a robotic mop that cleans itself. So you don't even have to clean the mop. Like it, it, it mops and then goes back into like a little case, uh, like a little charging station and the mop heads get clean. So like if it's mopping and it mops and like, let's say your floors are really dirty and the mop heads become too dirty, it recognizes it and goes back to the station, cleans itself and then comes back out. It's so crazy. I am so excited. I cannot wait to do it because it's one of those things where maybe I'm the only one. My floors get dirty so quickly and I think a lot of it, it's the dog. It's the kids running in and out from in and outside the traffic and our floors just get so dirty and it's like I just don't have the energy to mop all of the time you know the time or the energy so it's nice to have you know a robe a robot to, to do it for me so I'm going to be reviewing that next week so stay tuned Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system of To mop, I am using my O-Cedar Spin Mop I love this mop with one teaspoon of powdered Yes, just one teaspoon of powdered Tide laundry detergent in the mop bucket. It's an amazing combo. Always gets my floors really, really clean. So it's Sunday afternoon and I have, if I'm lucky, an hour. Um, Avery is at a birthday party and the twins are napping. Um, Mike's out doing some yard work, so we're just trying to get things done. Um, and I'm gonna go pick up Avery since Mike is jam-packed with doing stuff outside. So I have, if I'm lucky, an hour to get a few things done up here. So again, so this is going to be like, I know, <laughs> You guys watch speed cleaning videos, but I feel like I'm gonna be really speed cleaning in real life for these. So just as basic of a clean as I can do, um, and let's hope I get it done. Didn't I wait for you? Didn't I say I'm sorry? Didn't I do the best I could? You have high expectations Don't I know that you've explained it How I should prove myself to you this was one of those days that I had so much laundry to do. I know sometimes we can really stay on top of things and get the laundry done and other things done. Um, and I think it's really like that with any type of routine, any type of cleaning routine. It's like some days, some weeks you're on top of things, you're like getting it all done. And then other weeks you're like, I can barely keep up and get by. And this was just one of those weeks. Um, I feel like we were mainly getting behind because Mike was really, really busy with work. 
So um, he's a financial analyst and he deals with budgeting for like a company and he has forecasts and budgeting and all this stuff. Um, and there are certain weeks out of the month that he's swamped so busy, like he'll work you know, well over eight hours in a day. He'll work at night after the kids go to bed until like 1 a.m. And then there's other weeks where he's not busy at all. Um, And so this was one of those weeks where he was absolutely swamped. And for our family, it takes both of us to be chipping in to get things done. The laundry, the cleaning. Like I know you guys probably think I do all of the cleaning, which I do do a majority of the cleaning but Mike actually does all of the outside cleaning. He does a lot of the errands, grocery pickup and stuff like that. So like he also does cleaning. Um, so folding laundry, but so it's like when he's not a hundred percent, you know, things are going to get behind and that's okay. It happens, you know, week, there are going to be weeks. We're going to be on top of it. You're going to get it done. And then there's going to be weeks for whatever reason that you don't. So just so you know, that's how it was for us this week. So for both of our bathrooms um, that I was cleaning up here, I was just doing a very basic clean and wipe down. So just like literally using Clorox wipes um, to wipe down the vanity and just do it nice and quick. And then I was using the Bona antibacterial cleaner for the floors and just getting that done. Um, And something that I've noticed, which like when I'm in a hurry, it's just easy to grab the Clorox wipes. And I noticed that I can really do that in the girls bathroom. I can use Clorox wipes to wipe down the vanity in the girls bathroom, but it's a pain to use Clorox wipes in our bathroom. Um, but I, I should have switched, but I was just in such a hurry that I used it and it just ended up being a pain because if you guys, you know, I'm always using microfiber cloth. What a microfiber cloth is, it's like if you feel a microfiber cloth, it feels different than just like an you know, a regular rat cleaning rag. Um, and it attracts dust and bacteria. So like, you know, when you wipe, when you're cleaning something, you spray some cleaner, you wipe it down. Um, and then there's like lint that kind of gets collected. You guys, I know, you know what I'm talking about with the microfiber cloth that does not happen. That's why I always use them. So I use a dry microfiber cloth with a spray. So I always get asked about that. I don't wet the cloth. I use a spray cleaner with a dry microfiber cloth. So I don't know if it must be something with our bathroom. Like I'm sure like my shedding hair, uh, Mike shaving, you know, he cleans up after himself when he shaves, but you know, there's still going to be some shaves, shaving clippings, you know, that escape his cleaning I guess um and then like my face products I don't know but it is just a pain like the Clorox wipes do not cut I need a microfiber cloth in our bathroom but it works for the twins room or bathroom but I also know that there's been a lot of confusion about e-cloth the difference between an e-cloth and a microfiber cloth they are different and e-cloth is designed it is made to attract bacterial bacteria and clean a regular microfiber cloth does not clean. It just attracts dust and lint. Uh, so you need a cleaner with a regular microfiber cloth. So they are separate, 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 separate. But I use a dry microfiber cloth with a spray cleaner typically, or if I use my e-cloth, you just have to wet it. Um, but yes, so that was that. And I just remembered that I've totally forgot to close out this video. So I'm going to close it out here. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you found this video motivating. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribed, have the notification bell turned on so, and answer the question, what do you love about yourself? So you can be entered for the $100 PayPal cash giveaway and stay tuned because I will be announcing that winner on my Instagram, on YouTube community. So stay tuned and good luck. Secret.